What's up, Mr. G here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a title block. This is what the title block is going to look like. It's basically a border that we put around our drawing, so we'll create our drawings inside of this border or title block. Um, but it displays all the information about the drawing, like the title of the drawing, what class you're in, your name, date, and period. So this is the first assignment typically that we do so that we can turn things in and we have all that information. And we use this title block throughout basically the whole year. So, I'm going to start, I just opened up a new drawing here, I'll show you what that looks like, you just hit new, right there on the left, and what you need to do is make sure, most important, down here, polar tracking is on. It should be on by default, automatically, but to what, what that tool does, polar tracking, is whenever you're drawing a line, and your line is, you know, going to the right, or up, or down, or left, it makes that little green line to make sure the line is completely straight. If that's off, and you try making a line, it'll be it'll look like it's straight, but it's actually kind of crooked. So <clears throat> we're making sure polar tracking is on, and then we're going to start by typing in the word units. Enter. <clears throat> so I want to change the unit type from decimal to architectural, and then hit OK. And what that does is it changes how our, our units look whenever we're drawing things to an architectural format. So more like inches rather than a decimal number. Okay. So to start, we need a, a rectangle that is the size of a sheet of paper. So in our example here, if you see this white box going around the outside, that is supposed to represent a letter size sheet of paper. And the size of that is... Um, it's actually 11 inches by eight and a half, even though there's not a measurement on here. So, over here, I'm going to use the line tool and create three lines that create a box. So I'm going to type eight and a half. So, in order to write eight and a half, you have to do eight dash one slash two. Then I'm going to move my mouse to the right and the length for the sheet of paper going horizontally is 11. You could also type in decimals if you want, if that's easier. You can do 8.5, 11. Okay, and you can double check your line links by just double clicking on them afterwards and hitting escape. So I've got 11 by eight and a half. Okay, from there, I need to create this little, there's a little space, or that's called an offset using AutoCAD terms, of, um, you got to do some math here, if the piece of paper was 11 and then this top line right here is 10 and a half, we need to offset all the way around um, a quarter of an inch, which is 1 over 4. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to select all four of these lines and we're going to join them together. We're going to do that by just typing the word join after you have all four of them selected. Now they're all one big part. They're all connected together, one big polygon. And then we're going to use the offset tool, which is up here. Offset just basically allows you to duplicate things a certain distance away from the original thing. So I'll explain how it works. You click offset right here. And then on your mouse, it's going to say specify the offset distance. We're going to type 1 slash 4 here and hit enter. And then your mouse will change to like this little box. We're going to click on the object we already have. And then we're going to move our mouse in because we want to offset it in. We have the option to move our mouse outside, but that would make um, something bigger. And we want to go in. So that's kind of how offset works move my mouse in. And just to demonstrate again how kind of offset works, a little simpler. Click offset, type in a distance, and then you can click on lines and just kind of duplicate them certain spaces apart. It's whatever space you type in when you initially start. Okay, so that's how offset works. We just joined all those things together so, we did, so that we could offset them at one time. Okay, and this box is actually the green box. Let me show you here. It's actually this green box right here. So I'm going to change the color of it to green. 
In order to change a color, you select the box, and up here under Properties, you've got Object Color. You just change that to, I use this green right there. Okay. Next part we'll look at is we've got a space right here in between these two green lines, and it says it's a half of an inch. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just draw a line using the line tool. I'll start it at this corner and move my mouse to the left and type one slash two and hit enter. And then I can just move my mouse straight up until it connects up there like that. So I made a little line right here. You can't see it because it's on top of the green one. It actually looks like it went behind, but I just drew a line right here that's a half of an inch. And then I went straight up with a straight line going all the way to the top. And that line's also green, so I'll change the color of it. Okay, let's look at what we got next. So now we've got some spaces here where we've got the title, class, name, date, period stuff, and they all have kind of different distances. And you know, it would probably be helpful if I kept that little line that I had there. So I'm going to redraw it back in because I'm just going to use offset to offset it up, whatever those distances are. So we'll go here. So this first distance offset up is four and one fourth. So I'll do that real quick. Use the offset tool, immediately type in four dash one four, enter, click my mouse there, move my mouse up. Again, you have to choose which side you want the offset to go. Make sure you go up and you just click again. Now I've got one there. I'll look at the next distance. Looks like two. So I'll offset again, clicking the offset tool, type two, enter, click on the object, move my mouse up, and click again. And then I've got one more line that's one and one fourth. So I'll do offset, one dash, one slash four, and offset that up to there. And all these should be green. Okay. And then if you notice, there's this little part right here is broken into four sections. So I need to draw a line that kind of goes in the middle right there. So in order to do that, we need to go down here to Object Snap. These are our Object Snap settings. Here's what Object Snap does. Whenever you have a line drawn and you want to draw a line connected to it, it gives you these little green boxes. It also gives you a green box on the midpoint. But I don't think midpoint is turned on by default, so we need to turn that on. Because what we're going to do is draw a line from the midpoint of this line straight up. So over here in object, this is object snap, make sure it's blue, that means it's on. And then just click the little triangle that's pointing down right there next to it, and turn on midpoint. It might be off for you, it might be on, we'll see. But we need it on. Once it's on, then you can just hover your mouse over the middle of this line and it should be a triangle there. And then we can just draw a line from there going straight up. And I'll change it to green also. All right, so that's all of that. What we have left is just the text. So, text is a little tricky. Looks like I say, all right, kind of hard to read here, but this text is 1 8. I think this is actually wrong. It says both of the texts are 1 8. They can't both be 1 8. Anyway, we're going to try and make some text here that's uh, 1 8 tall that for our name, date, and period. So here's how text works. This little A right here, we use the drop down menu and use single line text. We can click anywhere on our screen right here. It'll say specif specify the start point of text click there and then it'll say specify height like immediately after you click your first part and then you can type in the height I'm gonna go with 1 8 because that's what it said on the example 1 slash 8 and then it'll say specify the rotation angle of text now to make this simpler I'm just gonna type 0 here and I'll explain later then I'm gonna type my name we're gonna use first initial and then last name and then you can click somewhere else to start a new text. So I'm just gonna click period, I'm gonna do period one. 
And then I'm going to click again and put today's date, which is 8 16 23. And then when you're done, you can just click again and hit enter, and then you should have three little texts there. So I think the text size that goes on the other boxes is a little taller. So I'm going to do the text tool again, specify a start point here, and for the height, I'm going to type 3 slash 16, and we'll see how that looks. And then it'll say specify rotation angle, I'm going to type 0 again, and then type drafting 1, click, and the title for this is going to be title block, click again, and hit enter. So I think that's the size that I want there. Let me just check something real quick. Um, I want to see what one fourth looks like. Hmm. Does that look good? Or does this look good? Let's go with this. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. So. Now we need to rotate these, which you just saw me do really quickly. Um, basically, you just click on one of these, one of your texts, and up here there's a rotate tool. It'll say specify a base point. You can just kind of click anywhere. It doesn't matter. Like, for example, I'll click over here. And as you move your mouse around, it just rotates the text. So I'm going to rotate that text that way. Do this one. Just click somewhere on the text. It doesn't even have to be on the text, but I like to do it on the text sometimes. Rotate, just move your mouse till it looks right. We're trying to flip basically all this text to go that direction. Okay, and then we're going to move the text to be in the correct boxes. So we've got title, drafting one, name, date, period. Moving this stuff's pretty simple. You click to select it first. That way it's highlighted, and then you just click and hold, and we just want to drag it visually in the center there. Click, click and hold. I have to pan up a little bit. Click to select it once, and then click and hold. I'll get my name, click to select it, click and drag. Okay, that should be it for our title block. We'll leave it like that. Try and visually center this if you can by sliding it down. And then make sure you save it. I'm gonna hit the A in the top left, go to save as, choose my OneDrive. I should have a folder here called drafting one. And I'll title it title block. And that's it for the title block.